Jess and I grew up in the 80s and it was a really strange time because it was kind of before the internet, really before mobiles, before that kind of idea of global communication. So it, it kind of felt like a small rural community could be properly isolated. could be like the world has ended. If you just, all you had to do is block three roads, turn off two television channels, and the world was gone. Because it was the end of the Cold War as well, there was a lot of kind of apocalyptic fear going around at that time. And the combination between, it felt like a really apocalyptic age to grow up in, and this, this, this idea that you could be really isolated just felt like there was something really strong and powerful within that that we wanted to explore. We wanted to get like a sense of the actual atmosphere. How do you create that kind of authenticity in a game um, that actually is real life? But I think the main thing was how do you evoke the story in that environment as well? It's a game about people and how people come together and. It's a game about change and how communities respond to profound change in their midst. And that's not just about the end of the world, it's also about the way the characters relate and events that happen within that community. And we really wanted, we talked a lot about the idea of playing off the epic and the intimate, and how what's happened between two characters and their marriage is as big to them as the fact that the world is ending. I think that's what's really different about this game. It's like telling a story that's about normal people so when you do go into some of the houses, you think, oh, this looks exactly like my grand's house. You know, you've got that sense of character. It's like the British way, really. Um, but I think that's what's really interesting about this game is that contrast that you've got with the environment, this like gorgeous, picturesque environment. Um, and then you've got this kind of really chilling undertone of the, the whole story. And I think it's that balance that's really interesting.